What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a whole nother video. Welcome to Auto 3 Garage and welcome to the series, Is It Worth It? Today, I will be reviewing a 2009 128i BMW. A guy want 20 grand off this car. Everybody thought he was a joke. This car came off the Facebook marketplace. Now, based off the mods and the condition of the car, you let me know, is this a fair price for this car? Now, after looking at the market, the car price range has, has dropped drastically is ranging between eight grand to 11 grand which you will see in a bit now this car is basically a short wheelbase e90 you can track and daily this car without a trailer if you really want it to one thing you have to do is change the tires suspension if you really want it to break it and just add an oil cooler um, to this car but the body styling of this car was great immaculate especially with its uh, compact uh design um my first time seeing this car was on CSR Racing, and I loved it. It was a pretty uh, cool car, but I haven't been like too attached to it um, like any other car. Um, but it's a pretty uh, cool series. Y'all let me know if the 128i's are more reliable than the 135i's. I heard that was. Uh, so y'all let me know down in the comment section below. But let's get into it. So these are the specs for the BMW i28i's or the 135i, rather it's a natural or have the turbo. You also got 6.1 for the natural and then 5.1 for the turbo version. Now the power wasn't that great on these cars, but the torque I heard was like immaculate and like just like with few like uh, gear changes and like little upgrades, like this car can like you know really push it you know just for the size that it have and guys i forgot to mention like you can get these like in autos or manuals which is a uh, pretty cool now the manual i think you will be like more uh in sold with the car and you can just feel uh you know the torqueness and the, the small little power that it have rear wheel drive of course four seats and then 21 mpg not bad but this is for like a convertible top uh for the hard top i believe it's about like the same uh price range when it was uh as new now this is the kelly blue book uh prices rather from a dealer or you selling it private this is the price range uh that they having it for um and like prices could like fluctuate all right guys so the guy want 20 grand for this car Ninety thousand miles automatic transmission no manual you got four seats in this bad boy you got a clean title now these are the modifications that he done on the motor suspension and the body itself with cosmetic uh looks but what these upgrades y'all let me know is it worth uh the 20 grand price and how much does these upgrades go for do y'all know anything about these upgrades um i'm not too familiar with the bmw uh side of with uh upgrades so y'all let me know but we're going to get into the pictures of this car so y'all can really determine is this uh car really worth it all right, guys, so this is the car right here that the guy want 20 grand for. Like I said, I would never knock somebody off uh, for whatever price they car think it worth, uh, you know, it's worth for. Now, like I said, I seen this car on the Facebook marketplace and it came off a group and folks was really laughing at the car. Like it's really not an M series, but it's a 128i. But based off these picks, y'all let me know. Is it worth 20 grand? Like I said, the today's market price for these cars between like I say seven to twelve at max because it can like fluctuates between um you know time, you know. But he, he did blacked out like the grill and maybe some little things. Um which look pretty good. The car looked actually pretty good to be honest. I like the body style of it. Um would I pay twenty grand for a BMW? Absolutely not um especially this uh car i wouldn't um wheels looking sleek looking nice and he looked like he got some uh nice toyos on there also got the back side of the car look very clean not bad at all another side profile look look pretty clean another look look pretty clean y'all let me know what how much this you know this car thing you, you are also came with like an aftermarket uh screen with apple carplay 
And then this is the interior. It looks very immaculate and clean. Like everything looks clean. Um, like I said, y'all let me know what price y'all would sell this car. Me, honestly, I would go for like 14 or 15. Maybe 16 at the most. I want to lowball myself like that, but maybe 16 at the max uh, due to like uh, the car. Now, like I said, if it's somebody really out there that really want to get this type of car, then they can, you know, buy it and get it. But 20 grand is a serve, especially for an 09 uh, BMW. And especially with the cars, you can probably develop problems, you know, over time, like with maintenance wise. And I heard the parts are pretty fairly uh, reasonable. Uh, depending where you get it from but i'm going with 16 uh, for this car uh, for most due to like the condition of the car uh, inside and out and the modifications that he have on this car but y'all let me know the price range between the modifications i probably go depending i probably go about 17 at most you know so i'll stick around that range but i'm surprised the car you know holding some type of value it ain't like it's like in the 12 to 3400 range. But I think that's pretty much it. I thought I had to share this car. I thought it was a serve uh, for this guy to sell it for 20 grand. But like I said, you can sell the car however much you want to. I mean, it's up to you. Like if I want to sell something, I think it's worth this price, then I'm going to sell it. You know, I mean, it's going to be somebody out there eventually to buy it and get it. But sometimes if you think about it, and like actually you know analyze the situation you like nah it ain't it but anyway y'all stay tuned for another car that we're going to review and look at and uh let me know if y'all enjoy these i'm gonna still drop them i think they're pretty cool and uh make sure y'all comment down below see y'all